Hello everyone, I'm Simon Boxall in for Donna Bush with your CIG TV news brief on this Tuesday. With a historic first caucus and cabinet meeting held by parliamentarians and other government officials on Little Cayman last week, a reception was also held in honor of Heroes Day awardees from uniformed services on Little Cayman. That was just days after their Cayman Brack counterparts were also recognized. The late Mr. Irvin Bruce Eldermeyer was honored with the Early Pioneer Award for his outstanding contributions to the Little Cayman community through his multiple uniform posts. His award was collected by his wife, Mrs. Neville, uh, Nelvi Eldermeyer, and a moment of silence was held in his memory. The first recipient of the Pioneer Award was Little Cayman District Officer, Mr. Tate McFarlane for his past contributions as a customs officer and his work in his present role. The final award was presented to Mr. Robin Levi Walton for his contributions as a member of the Cayman Islands Fire Service. The awards were presented by the Honorable Wayne Panton, the Honorable Bernie Bush, and the Honorable Juliana O'Connor Connolly. We say a huge congratulations to all members of the Cayman Islands Uniformed Services who are awarded. While on Little Cayman, the Honorable Sabrina Turner, Minister for Health and Wellness, spent time at the Little Cayman Health Center, where she was given a tour and had the opportunity to learn more about medical resources, equipment, and treatment of patients at the Center for Little Cayman Residents and Visitors. In terms of the staffing we have and the resources, it's going to push us beyond our scope of practice and beyond what our resources can give. But at any one time, we are able to call in fire. Ah, so that's okay. why I said Little Cayman speaks to a multi-sectoral approach to at all times, at all at times all time. in all that we do. This is a dental clinic where, as I said before, once per month, the dentist comes and the hygienist comes to see patients mm -hmm. here in Little Cayman. The board recently visited the Little Cayman Health Center that is manned by two staff members, a doctor visits once a week and an OBGYN visits once per month. While on Little Cayman, Premier the Honorable Wayne Panton and Minister for Tourism and Transport the Honorable Kenneth J uh, Bryan visited the Little Cayman Health Center where more than 90% of residents have been vaccinated and where visitors go for lateral flow testing and much more. Turning to Tuesday, uh, the Tuesday forecast, tonight we can expect partly cloudy skies with a 20% chance of showers. Seas will be rough with wave heights of 5 to 7 feet. There's a small craft warning which remains in effect for boaters. The outlook over the next two days calls for similar weather conditions through Thursday night as a high pressure system drifts over the Western Atlantic Ocean. The synopsis calls for fresh to strong northeasterly winds and rough seas will continue across the Cayman area for the next 24 hours in association with a high pressure system over the southeast US. Satellite images show scattered low level clouds around the Cayman area moving towards the southwest. A reminder for the latest on expected local weather conditions, you can go online to weather.gov.ky. Mm. And that's it for today's news brief here on CIG Television. I'm Simon Boxall in for Donna Bush, as always thanking you for joining us. Have a great night, everyone. Seek the latest accurate information on COVID-19 only from official sources at gov.ky forward slash coronavirus.